Yep, let's figure this out and find out if this is really true. Mess free latex tape. Uh, and this one, the nail stamp fun kit. Hello, what's up everyone? This is Shasha SJ. Today we are going to review the... This one. And you can also purchase them. I put the description down below if you want this. And, uh, and this one, the nail stamp fun kit. Yep, let's figure this out and find out if this is really true. Mess free latex tape. You know when um when you try to paint something and it will smear on your nails like how I usually do it on my own. So let's find out how this one goes and let's check them out and let's go. I wonder if this one works real true. It says apply to the areas where you want free of polish allowed to dry one to two minutes it's right there one to two minutes so we have to make it dry this is this one latex tape all right here we come i don't know if you have to shake it now be creative and do your nail arts and rub edge of latex tape with your finger or tweezers and peel it off all right here we go moment of truth it doesn't say that we have to shake it so we'll see how this one goes it says you have to do it on the end this would be real good for like the beginners guys like me because i am um, not real good about this see how am i doing on my thumb down there i already cleaned my nails as you know guys my nails are already clean i cut my nails and everything like that and all those 10 yards of doing because i usually do it my own so let's see just like that i think i hope i hope i'm doing it right and let's do another more on my point finger right here oops i put so much on that area oh well that's what you get when you do it your own you know i know it's not gonna be perfect but it'll be okay i'm going to try to pick that up because I want to paint that side, you know? Look how cool that is. It turns like pinkish. So let's do the right, the left hand first, and then we'll do the right hand later, okay? So we have to make this one dry. It says one to two minutes until it turns clear pink. So they will turn into clear pink. As you can see right there, it's a little bit wet. And this one, um, they, they're a little bit dry, but it says you have to make sure that it's totally pink. This is so cool, you guys. If, if you can do it at your home, then you know you don't have to go to the place where they put some design on it. So we'll see how this one works because I am, I don't know how to do it. I am not really good at this, so. And we are trying to follow this one, the blue paint and then a white decorative on it or pattern and it looks like it's it's super dry now you guys so now let's do the blue now and 
As you can see, I always seen this to people that they always shake it like that. And okay, let's do this. Let's see. I'm not really good at painting nails, you guys. So bear with me, okay? I am not sponsored on this um, company either, so so bear with me. And I'm just doing this like you know as a beginner and like if you can do it on your own you know because I made mess a lot like see that edge like see how messy that is and I don't know if if it turns out right when we are done today so let's see how this one really really works and if it does work you guys I will let you know and I'll show you after when we do this because I kind of feel like this is super awesome it feels like it so we'll see how this one works and if you want this item again go check on the description down below and I will put the description link and again I am not sponsored you guys okay I'm just reviewing all this stuff that um, items that everybody was telling me to review so right now I'm reviewing this because someone asked me to review this and we'll see how this one works <laughs> Let's make it like a little bit of smear like we'll see how this one works because see if you do it your own like it's so hard to clean that up so we'll see how this um, latex what's that called this latex tape will peel off and won't ruin the will take a good effect on my nails so we'll see how this one works all right so bear with me oh my gosh they stuck <laughs> All right, that, that looks very interesting right now. So I'm just using the scissors to cut them off. They, they, it feels like they were like a bubble gum, you guys. They're, it's very nice. So you really have to put your fingernails away from each other because they stick to each other. So like what I'm doing right now, I am just doing it freely just like that. So I'm going to make this one dry and I will come back and we are going to use this nail stamp um, fun kit. So if you want this, check on the description down below. It should be right on that link right there, okay? So I'm trying to make this one dry, you guys. And dry, dry, dry. And let's go check what we get here. Ooh, this is oh wow, that is beautiful. Oh, I don't know what this is, but this is interesting. See that? Oi! <laughs> oh, it looks like a little gel thing. Right here, see it's squishy. I don't know what is that for. I think this is kind of like one of the stamp for the stamp or you have to put that in there. I have no clue, you guys. I don't know if you have to be oily in it or something, but that's what I, that's what I have in here. And that's the lead for the, my hand is, I'm trying to protect my other hand just to make sure if I'm doing it right. And I don't know what this is. This is a, oh, there is a stamping polish. They have, there. this is this one, I guess. So I guess it's separated or they required to use this kind. This is the super intense pure white. There. 
and five free stamping polish so if you want to check this one out guys check this one out and we'll see you check this one out together oops and this one is super intense five free stamping polish which is blackjack so you can use either i guess if you want to use the white one or the black one so for now we are going to use what's in the picture we are going to use the white one and we'll see how this one works okay and this must be the nail party i don't know maybe this is the stamp one or the pattern this must be the pattern if i oh if i can take it look at that you just pull it out I might have to double it out just like how I did the other one. And this is the scraping card. I guess this is what you use when you... Like that. Okay. And that's what we get. And... Let's go see how many patterns do they have here. Remove blue film before use. Oh, it's not back to back. It's just this one. It's only flowers bows butterflies i like the butterflies there's a unicorn right there strawberry stars um leaf kind of flower or something and then another flower and then a, something abstract something pattern anyway and i'm going to open this up maybe this is how you do it and Let's figure this one. Oh my gosh, my, my fingers keep touching each other. And they only have one card. So there's a instruction and I usually don't um, follow instruction because that's just me. And there's nothing in the back. So I don't think it's... Do I need to peel this? thing out of there I don't know I guess we take it out okay now I am deciding to use the butterfly right there you know that's kind of like almost too much but we'll see how this one goes it says scraping it scrape scrape 45 degree angle in one single gentle scrape will do the work scrape and then the stamping your stamper should be ready to go however if it's not working for you right out of the box please use the following technique to prepare it to work try washing your head in warm water soap and let it dry completely do not press too hard on the plate when trying to pick up the image just push down gently on the image and move up quickly so I guess it's like you're stamping it like shh, like that I guess I don't know so let's try first if it's not um, let's just do this one right now and I'm not even gonna try to wash it so it says wash it with soapy water but I'm not even gonna try to wash it and if it's not gonna work we are going to wash it okay and it says do not press too hard on the plate okay let's go see how this one works and i'll do the white i don't know if you have to shake this one let's see um it doesn't show here the, okay shake well before use okay let's shake this one and for now we are going to use the butterfly and i hope it works maybe even just like a half of it you know and then let's see how this one works I'm going to grab a piece of paper because I don't want to make dirt on my table and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I grab a piece of paper because I don't want to smear it on my table or my cover. But anyway, since we did that already, I'm going to start first on my pinky and I don't know how this one works. We find out together, okay? This is super thin thick you guys very very thick white as you can see it's super thick and super white as well okay so you have to do it like that I don't know if I'm doing it right so we'll see and then you just 
paint it over. I always see this one, guys, on YouTube. So if you have any more um, suggestions, let me know. Because I am not a professional nail polisher. I don't know how you say it, but I'm not professional. So you know you guys, okay? I just have to clarify that, again, that I'm not professional. I'm just trying to uh, review this as a beginner if you just want to do it on your own, okay? So then you have to scrape it. Oop, oi. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but anyway, let's do pick up this butterfly. Oop. Doesn't work right for me, you guys. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Oops. Nope. So we really have to wash it, guys. Anyway, I have to clean this. Um, this is my nail polish remover. And I'm going to clean this. I really like this because you just have to push it. And then you clean that thing in there. And... I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I'm doing it right or wrong, but it doesn't work on my, um, when I stamped it. But then now I washed it, so hopefully it works. I washed that um, ball here, this one. I already washed it, so we'll see how this one works. I'm going to paint it again over onto the butterfly because I kind of like want to have the butterfly. I'm a butterfly person so we'll see how this one works. And let's, it says you don't have to scrape it too hard. So let's grab this and let's do the this one. OMG, you guys, look how pretty that is. Oh my, oh, oh, this is so pretty. Look, okay, now let's do the rest, okay? So it is so important that you really, really have to wash it because earlier we tried for not washing it and now we are going to, and we did wash it and it does work guys this is so awesome but now we have to try out if this latex that we put over on our skin will work this is so pretty you guys okay now next is this finger all right look it's super pretty omg Okay, let's do it again. I'm trying to clean this one. Like, so I think you have to clean this very often every time when you put a, uh, of course, you have to make it super clean. And look at this, my stamp, my, this is the only one thing that I don't like is when, oh, I hope I didn't smear my, this is the only one thing that I don't like is when you scrape it and you, re you have to have a, clean this over and over again but that's fine it saves you money when you go to the place you know there I know I should have oops I need to wash this again guys it's getting dirty I'll be right back another one go check this out I'm going to use this super dry one to cover that paint because if I don't cover that up I am afraid if I pull it out so I have this for a while you guys and we'll see how this one works Ta -da. ooh no that's a bad idea that's a bad idea you guys not good not good. So I think you just have to leave it like that because if you cover it up, 
see that I smear it all right it says here that you have to put a tuck coat in in here but I don't think it works to have some tuck coat because it smear it see it makes me sad when it smear that and I have to do it again now maybe if I have to make it thicker I'm afraid if I smear it you guys See, I don't like it because I smear it. Maybe if I have to make it drippy. See, I don't like it when it's smear. I don't know if I'm using the right brush. I just don't know. afraid if I'm doing it wrong you guys see it smear it a little I don't like it when it smears maybe just leave it like that you know if you just want to do it all right I'm back so you know guys I have to redo this again because as you can see earlier that when I paint it with a um i know there's this is not supposed to be the one but i don't know if this one could work but i think if you apply a top coat in it i don't know if i'm doing the right the i'm using the right top coat but anyway um it doesn't work for me it smears it off and i don't like that so i'm just gonna leave it as that like how i do with my pinky and my point finger and my thumb and as you can see guys lesson learned i have to do it again and for now it's still wet so i have to wait until it's all dry see how smear that is because i am trying to figure this one out if this one really 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 works so as you can see i'm trying to make this one dry right now so hopefully it turns out right when i pull this whole thing and we are going to pull this out together okay guys because i'm just excited to find out because me i am not really good in decorating fingernails so i guess this one is pretty dry already and it feels like it looks like peeling on the side without paint but that's fine it's okay and maybe if you really have to use a a right nail polish i don't know if you have to have a specific um stamping polish because this one looks like a liquid eraser to me and it's that's that's how they look like and maybe if you use a real real nail polish maybe it will stick it more but i don't know how it goes so we will figure it out that one and let's do this together okay because i am trying to figure it out because i am not a good nail polish painter and I want some decorations on my fingernails all right I'm back sorry if there is a background noise guys that's my husband watching a TV so right now let's do this together and sorry again for that glare okay so it's a little bit of dry right now so let's get into this and keep it going it's a shake and then we have our scraper this is our ball and let's do the butterfly again because it's my favorite i don't have a top coat guys so we just have to deal into this nothing top coat in it so because i tried my other super dry one it's not working for me so we just have to deal with this what we have okay and now let's finish this up with this beautiful butterfly right there
All right, I'm back and it's a little bit of busy over there, which is that's good because we are going to find out if when we peel this latex out, it's going to work well. So I'm going to start in this um, thumb area, as you can see. This is very satisfying for me, you guys, because it feels awesome when, not satisfying, but it, it's so awesome because now I can have a decorative fingernails and you don't have to go to the parlor for a nail something. There's a little bit of thing on that end I think it's part of the latex so you really have to take them out but that's fine which is at least it works better you know and again you guys I am not professional okay so now Let's do this other one. I, I have this one for a long time, you guys. This white one. So, let's peel it out. There you go. Look how pretty that is. I really like it. Right at the moment, I'm just using my only one hand so I can finish my right hand. Okay, so I'm going to make it run faster. So bear with me, you guys, okay? All right, I'm back. So far, I love it. It works so perfect. And as you can see, there might be a little bit of smear on that side, but it is um, okay for me, especially if I have designs on my nails. Eventually, when you wash your hands very often or put lotion on it, it will just come off. But anyway, as far as we went farther for our review I would say this is a 9 but it's okay you know why because this works perfect for me as had it go to the parlor or do someone or make someone do my nails but um, I would say yes it's 9 because it should be a 10 but when I put the top coat on it, it will smear the white. So that's why I just say, don't put top coat in it. Just leave it how it is. 
and you know what I mean you will understand why it doesn't work but maybe it might work for you but not for me and maybe I'm using a wrong tab code or something this one maybe I'm using it wrong but as you can see see I don't know if it's expired but anyway I'm using it anyway but I would say it's a nine it's perfect for me as you can see if you use only with your left and right hand and you're just doing it yourself it does make it hard but me it's okay and I really 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 recommend this so here we go and this is our review for our nail stamp fun kit that one and the latex tape I honestly I would give this a 10 you guys this is perfect this is so awesome because especially if you're doing it by your own or your own self it does helps perfectly guys it does helps me so reminder again if you are allergic with latex please be very very careful because this contains latex so don't use this if you have an allergy with the latex this is not good for you so anyway so if you want this item check on the description down below right there and give it a thumbs up if you like the video and check that like button down there right there and please subscribe on my channel down there right there and i would really really appreciate it and thank you for coming by again and see you next time you have an awesome day bye